almost every part of the building. We stormed by people, people you know, people you don't know from every part of the country. I'm sure you had me ask, is Oyo State here? Is Kogi State here? Is Enugu State here? Is uh, Edo State here? Is Delta here? Is Ebugu here? Around the country, I see people happy. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited and it shows the power of people. People's power, you know, you can bring down a good idea. You know, and uh, that's what we have split today. You know, we have installed some of the best new technology at Kosi and brought some very young, brilliant people to manage them. So we are in with technology. Kosi House has probably the best technology in the country for managing the use of music. And with all due modesty, I would say we are number one. We have gone to court several times, and you <laughs> we have noticed why do we keep winning wherever we go? Anybody should ask that question. Why is it that Coast Sun continues to win? Whether at the Federal High Court, at the State High Court, the Court of Appeals, everywhere we continue to win because we are doing what we are doing right. And those who have been trying to discredit us have been using bad belly against us, not because we are doing anything wrong. That's why when they call for evidence, they can't produce any evidence, you know, to support what they say. And we can prove this evidence. And you can see that we have the support, full support, 100 percent support of our members. It's on display. It, it can't be hidden. You saw it. You know, they had the option of saying yes to every motion, the option of saying no to every motion, and you could see where they were. So I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm proud of the members. Uh, some previous occasions we used to go at other venues to do it. It used to be a fuller house, sometimes rowdy. But I think since COVID in 2020, we've learned and been able to understand the circumstances and manage it better. I think this is a lot more uh, sensible and resourceful and manageable. Now we know who we are. We have representatives. We have people from all over Nigeria, people from as far as uh, Kaduna, Kanu, Sokoto, Kotangoa, Zamfara, Yobe, Jigawa. Some people are coming from Gaza, Palestine, Israel. Okay, sorry, 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 okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, we touch everywhere. The only thing that will not happen here today is that one woman will wear police uniform and come and sing the national anthem. It will not happen here today. Because in this Koson house, we will sing it right. We have musicians everywhere here, and we will get it right. We always get it right at Koson. Um, it's not been easy. I know that there's been complaints. We've been having uh, some feedback from everybody. Today, you will learn everything about what has been happening. You will get up-to-date information, the battle we have been going through, the people that stood against us, the walls that we have broken, all the Goliaths that have died, and the ones that we are still going to kill. Because from afar, you people don't know what we're going through here. If you check the board, you think, say, people did there, then get body, then get fat. No be food, though. Now, grace of God. The stress. The le Our lawyer, they here. I don't know how she still take get meat for body. I don't know how chairman still, still get meat for body. From what they go through, I won't lie. I don't get meat for body, so I did day for afar. Because if I follow join, now this microphone stand now and I go see. I go lean. I go lose weight. I don't know how they managed to do it, but there has been a serious battle against Koson for years. But we shall always overcome. For that's, what, that's who we are, okay? So we're sorry for those of you who feel that Koson has not been reaching out. During COVID, we were the only association that was able in the whole Nigeria, 
I can confidently say that. I know a lot of corporate brands in the whole Nigeria who gave palliatives to its members twice, twice, within a short period to say, take something. Even government, where it talks a palliative day, now for newspaper, we hear say they share billions. Let the music pay. Now for newspaper, we they hear. Three months later, palliative way they say make them give people. We see and they rotting for warehouse. I mean, we don't see them. But a caution we give. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we need to start um, inviting God into our midst. Um, we promised to start at 11. It's exactly 12. Apologies. We had to make sure we registered people accordingly so that we can usher you in properly. We can give you your meal ticket, your accreditation and everything. Everybody here is going to be well taken care of. And this is a sneak to you. I think everybody here today is going to get their entitlement and then others will get theirs as well. Everybody physically present here today, you will get your entitlement. So we need to thank God and uh, bring him into our midst. Can we please put our hands together for Evangelist Jenny Kenny as she opens this event with the prayers. Baba Chukona Wanyora when he is completely Baba Chigoba Chukuma Robiani Baba Onye na loranya, thank you. Eli gwe na rekele na na. Baba Shile. Hey, Ivan Jacob. Baba Yera, yeah, one in the middle. Baba, all right. Me o mo Jesu o nimbo. Me o mo. Me o mo. Aha Jesu. Father, your children have gathered to say thank you. We have come to say we bless you. We have come to say glory be to your name. We are fought, we are won. Shame has gone to the devil. And all glory is being ascribed to you. I know we can never be put to shame. Your children have been praying and God answers prayer. We are not noise makers. Action speaks louder than noise. God, you have been with us. Go son can never die. As long as God is sitting upon the throne. Anywhere baby will be chine kema. Hello, a baby mbapa so ku daddy. Mve kwachi o zambo gazana. Mve kwachi. Nyami yere. If I say badana baba disgrace me. If I serve another Baba woman, Baba is here, so sorry. Because you don't have any other God. 
Every other God is counterfeit. Every greediness is counterfeit. Every wickedness is counterfeit. Anything that fights Koson is fighting against you. Because this Koson and the board, they are fighting for the masses, for the lives of musicians, even the downtrodden musicians, even the ones that are doing their best and they are not alive. Their families are still eating from. That is why Koson can never die. Any board Koson will die, they will go in for Koson. It shall never be well with them. We have come to thank you for bringing us here. On my phone, I was peeping to be sure whether it's three. I read and read, and I saw a reminder. Father, it shall be well with us. It shall be well with this board. Our meeting today will put into your hands. Let your name be glorified. Take glory. And at the end of this meeting, we have the cause to say thank you. In Jesus' name we decree. You know, say, kidnappers abduct some people for a bad expressway. As they stop the Siena, they stop the Siena, they make everybody come down. Come down, we're kidnapping you. One bad man did the back seat. You see that, you don't answer them. That's okay. You know, here, say, with a kidnap. He said, by Jazzy, I'm not fighting you. Say, Abulamawa. <laughs> Now, can never say, Mona, leave this one. If this one follow, you go chop us a wreck. Mona, leave her. Tia Bulaba, my wa, my law. But Tia Basabula, in, 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 in. Ibadan is the only town, city I know that no matter what is happening in Nigeria, no matter what the situation, they adjust accordingly. Now, now they know recession, you know, consign them for Ibadan. Once it go like this, Ibadan adjust. I was a challenge pumping my tire. At that time, tire pump was 200 flat. For organizers are very organized across the nation. 200 naira flat, anywhere you go in the country. As they were pumping my tire, one Ibadan driver came with colloquial bus. For organizer! A little unfair tire. Now we answer and say, ah, 200 now. Eh? 200, okay, let me pump 100 naira inside this motto. <laughs> uh, everybody's shocked. The organizer look at the wizard. I knew about 550 seat tire, you go 550 seat <laughs> I'd like to invite our chairman, the very dogged, the selfless, the, the pioneer, the forerunner. The path clearer, the amazing, recently celebrated by CIG, the, the accolades I gave him that night are quite uh, vaboos. And this is not an avenue to stretch too long. But ladies and gentlemen, the very meek-hearted, simple, but gentle and approachable and um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Chief Tony Okoroji. Good afternoon, everyone. Is Oyo State here? If, if Oyo State is here, I say, yay! Is Ogu State here? If Ogu State is here, please say, yay, yay! <laughs> uh, is Lagos State here? Lagos State say, yeah! yeah. <laughs> Is uh, Edo State? Edo State. Make some noise, Edo State. Make some noise. You know. Is uh, Imo here? 
Imu, let me hear you say yeah. Anambra is here, right? Enugu is here, right? Kogi State is here, right? Abuja is here, right? Nigeria is here. Jigawa is here. Kogi is here. Nigeria is here. Ah, uh, uh, Ekiti is here. Ekiti is here. I can see Ekiti. Uh, on those state is here. You know. Nigeria is here. Uh, and because Nigeria is here, we cannot go on with this event without standing up and singing our national anthem. Please stand up for Nigeria. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Uh, please, may you all sit down. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to thank my brother and friend, Kofi Guru, for the wonderful introduction, and all of you for the honor you have uh, given to me. Fellow members of Kosan, fellow members of the Kosan family, it is with gratitude to the Almighty that on behalf of the board, I welcome all of you to this 13th annual general meeting of our great society. I am particularly happy to welcome each and everyone to the magnificent Kosan House, an edifice that should continue to make every Kosan member proud. You would have noticed that Kosan House continues to sparkle and remains price time six and a half years after it was commissioned. There is no stain on any wall. And there is no dead bulb anywhere. If you allow me to say so, there are 10, 10 toilets in this building. You can practically dine in any of because they remain forever sparkling clean. You can use any of the toilets here, go to any of them. They are always very, very clean. The credit goes to the Coson management, which takes every step to maintain Coson House. I also want to welcome those of our members who cannot physically be here today and have joined us via Zoom. Let me repeat the Zoom ID and password. If you have your friends who cannot be here, please send them. The Zoom ID is 254-154-1207. Let me repeat, 254-154-1207. And the password is Kusan. 2023. So you might send this information to your friends who can be here. Have we got that? And the passcode is Kosan 2023. 
2023. Kosan 2023 is the passcode. Are we okay with that? My brothers and sisters, since the last time we met here, we have lost a good number of our frontline members. By Chris Ajilo, Professor Sir Victor Efosa Owaifo, Honorable John Ndidika Ewelukwa Udebunam, the great Felix Ode, better known as Fela Day, recording in progress, and the former Kosan board member and managing director of Premier Music Limited. Mr. Toju Ejuechi. We also lost such colleagues as Lanry Abdul Ganiyo Fasasi, whom the nation used to know as Sound Sultan. The great Jakimo Anyora, renowned guitarist of Life Everlasting, Sweet Breeze, and SB Family. And the fabulous Dan Aya Mbezwe, the spectacular composer of the unforgettable songs Fuel for Love and Money to Burn. Among, among our great losses in 2021 was that of Professor Egerton Uviegara, outstanding intellectual, retired erudite professor of law at the University of Lagos, former chairman of the governing board of the NCC, former commissioner at the Nigerian Law Reform Commission, and a foremost friend and solid supporter of Kusum. He was always here. Professor Egerton will remember, uh, KSB will remember, you know, that we always went to his house to celebrate his birthday, and he always came here for any event that had goes on in his name. Just recently, Trump Kosan delegation was in Umuhuaba, in Obin, the government area of Abia State for the burial of the great Krisimba, whose coffin was draped with the Goson flag. As we have done during the burial of several others. When we bury a Goson member, we drape the coffin with Goson flag because we don't forget the person just because he's going down. The person goes down with all of us. And uh, I want to thank my colleagues Chief Uche Mekapol and Sir Angus Mwagu, who accompanied me to Umuhaba for the burial of the great Christian Bar. Christian Bar's burial was after a major celebration of his life at a unique red carpet tribute night in at this Kosom house. We are righteous man, the president of the righteous nation, performed like man and almost tore this, this place. Uh, righteous man, you remember how it was that evening. Sadly, in 2023, the industry has also lost Basil Akalono, whom a lot of us know as Basico of the Sweet Breeze fame, Mike Akwo of Jazz Basin, Prince Bola Agba of Jambos Express, and very recently, the great Peter King, and uh, just this past week, Emperor Peak Peters. Please, I know I've done this before, may we all stand up and pray that the souls of these great departed Nigerians who in their lifetime contributed significantly to the growth of our music industry rest in peace.
No, please sit down. Please sit down. Developments in the courts. I wish to report that Coson has, in recent times, scored significant wins in different Nigerian courts. On April 2014, April 14, 2022, Justice A.R. Mohammed of the Federal High Court Abuja delivered a major ruling in suit number FSC slash ABJ slash CS slash 389 slash 2021, issuing an order restraining the Inspector General of Police, the Department of State Services DSS, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC, Mr. Priti Okafo, Prince Biodu Egwaide, and Stambik IBTC Bank, whether by themselves or their officials, previous servants, agents, or howsoever called from in any way or manner harassing, disturbing, continuing to disturb, or preventing, continuing to prevent Kosan from lawfully enforcing the constitutional rights of its members, affiliates, assignees, and reciprocal representation partners, <laughs> or interfering, continuing to interfere with the internal management, operations, funds of person, or the bank accounts of any of his officers, or preventing, continuing to prevent Kosan, its members, affiliates, assignees, and reciprocal representation partners from earning income and sustaining themselves with their intellectual property pending the determination of the motion for interlocutory injunction already filed and served in the seat. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the lawyer who represented us in this case. Mr. James Ononengu, please. Go, son. Not long after, Justice Yelling S. Bogoro of the Federal High Court Lagos on May 4, 2022, ordered one of Nigeria's biggest banks, Access Bank PLC, to immediately unfreeze the bank accounts of Kosan at the bank and to pay Kosan 70 million naira in damages for unlawful freezing of accounts. Once again, the lawyer who represented us in that case is Mr. James Ononimu. Shortly after, Justice Nicholas Oweibo of the Federal High Court Lagos granted a perpetual injunction restraining the Lagos City FM 105.1, its agents, previews, or servants from continuing to take and broadcast musical works and sound recordings belonging to Kosan, Kosan members, assigners, and affiliates without payment of all outstanding royalties to Kosan. In a very significant decision, the Court of Appeal sitting in Calabar on Monday, June 26, 2023, affirmed the 2018 judgment of the Federal High Court Calabar, awarding the sum of 500 million naira to Kosan as damages for copyright infringement at the Calabar Carnival and Festival. Shortly after, on Wednesday, July 12, 2023, Honorable Justice Olayin Kafaji of the Federal High Court Lagos brought to an end the five-year-old battle by Efe Omoregwe to be declared chairman of Kosan. 
Justice Faji dismissed suit number FHC slash L slash CS slash 1779 slash 2018 brought by Efeo Morogbe, Obi Asika, Audu Maikori, Dare Fasasi, Sikura Abola, and Joel Ajayi asking to be declared directors of Kosom. You will recall that you removed this people from the Kosom board in, in this very right here. Justice Faji stated that their suit is an abuse of court process and awarded a cost of 750,000 Naira against Mr. Moribe and his co-plaintiffs. Again, Mr. My brother here, Mr. James Ononuru, was our lawyer in this matter. It will be recalled that another federal high court judge sitting in Enugu had before now ordered Om Omorogbe to stop parading himself as Kosan chairman, an order which still subsists. Um, my brother here, um, Sir Angus Wagu, is a plaintiff representing Kosan in that matter. They filed this matter in Enugu at the Federal High Court. It is also on record that Justice Olayinka Faji also struck out a criminal action brought by the Nigerian Corporate Right Commission against Kosan, Chief Tony Okoroji, Mr. Chineju Chukuji, our erstwhile general manager, Mrs. Benis Eremeya Shibogo, our current general manager, and our former head of licensing, Mrs. Anne Adeyemi. Um, the NCC had taken all of us to court. They wanted to jail us for doing, for doing what? For representing you and making sure that the music pays you. But the court struck out their case. I know that there are friends of Kosan who we are worried that the legal disagreements associated with Kosan would lead to the weakening or disintegration of Kosan, this great private sector Nigerian institution respected internationally. The truth is that subjecting the issues to the examination of the courts has made Kosan stronger as we are all made to learn the do's and don'ts of our industry. And the order of Justice A.R. Mohammed remains in force. We engaged Access Bank in discussions to pay the order of Justice Bogoro. Unfortunately, they chose to go on appeal, compelling us to file a cross appeal, asking for more significant damages. I believe that the matter will soon be resolved. We have been informed that the Cross River State Government, rather than pay Kosan, has chosen to go to the Supreme Court. Of course, that is their constitutional right, and we will meet them at the Supreme Court. We remain prepared to resolve any issues out of court if our legal adversaries show such interest. On the other hand, I believe that Kosan has very much proven that he can take on anybody in a court of law. Distribution. As you well know, three of our members went to court in 2019 to obtain a restraining order to stop the Coastal General Distribution totally dissatisfied with the decision which prevents a large majority of our members from earning income from our society, Kosan went to the Court of Appeal asking for the decision to be obtained. I had earlier reported that there have been ongoing discussions with the plaintiffs to resolve the issues out of court because with the situation almost everyone, including the plaintiffs, will continue to lose. The board at its meeting of September 12, 2023, 
approved an agreement reached with the plaintiffs in suit number FAC slash L slash CS slash 1418 slash 2019 to enforce, not to enforce the judgment in their suit, which precludes custom for distributing any royalties to members in the form of general distribution. While Coson withdraws its appeal of the judgment in appeal number CA slash LAG slash PRE slash ROA slash CV slash 732M 2021, the board is seeking from this AGM the ratification of this agreement. If the agreement is ratified, we will today recommence distribution of realities to all our members in the society's register as at May 19, 2022. Fellow members of Coastal, our membership continues to grow despite the difficulties we have faced. Our membership now stands at 5,273. Staff matters. My dear members of COSON, in the past year, four members of staff left the service of the society. They are Mr. Issa Aruna, is wild head of data tech department, Ms. Simi Washpam, formerly head of legal, Mr. Olawale Oyesoya, formerly a data tech executive, and Mrs. Ann Ademi, former acting of Head, former acting head of licensing. We wish them all well in their new endeavors. Ms. Pat Adudu is now acting head of licensing. I think I saw her here a few minutes ago. During the same period, while Coson lost uh, four members of staff, Coson recruited eight new members of staff. And they are Mrs. Mandu Uwem Omo, who is now a senior communications executive. Mrs. Uwem Omo, please take a bow. You probably know her already on, on TV, and she's doing a fantastic job. And Ms. Cynthia Wokonko. Uh, Ms. Wokonko is at the back there. She's, she's waving. Uh, she's, a, she's a great lawyer and staff of... Uh, Kosan, she's our current legal officer. Mr. Victor Olarinde, Mr. Ayotunde Oluk Leke, and Mr. Rewan Alaron joined us as data tech executives. Is any of them here? They are walking downstairs, I'm informed. Also recruited as licensing executives are Mr. Izochuku Azoro. I saw him a few minutes ago. Mr. Temitokwe. Adebwe Mile and Mr. Ikechuku Mbako. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been unflinching in building and maintaining Kosun and ensuring that Kosun is a world standard institution and a first class organization that protects and promotes the rights of creative people in the Nigerian music industry and the music industry across the world. We have done this with utmost transparency. Without doubt, Kosan is the most solid and formidable organization the Nigerian creative industry has ever built. Let me repeat. Let me repeat. Kosan is the most solid and formidable organization the Nigerian creative industry has ever built. And I should know, because I've been through all of them. I'm, I am aware that the rapid success of Kosan has dazzled many. The facts are that we surprised many people at the speed and dexterity with which we brought together thousands of creative 
people, assembled millions of works, both local and international, thereby creating a breathtaking repertoire and library. We built and equipped this magnificent Coson house with the most modern technology without borrowing one shishi or owing anybody one shishi and set up a management team of well-trained accountants, lawyers, copyright experts, statisticians, and other world-class professionals. And we don't owe any of them salary for one month. Every single year since the incorporation of Coson, we have had our accounts professionally audited every single year. Recently, Coson invited one of the most respected accounting firms in the world and subjected itself to a complete seven month forensic audit, something no other organization in the history of the Nigerian creative industry has ever done. As you well know, Coson has distributed hundreds of millions of Naira in copyright royalty to music industry stakeholders spread across the country. Unfortunately, because of the vicious nature of the Nigerian socio-political environment, our success became our albatross. Kutman, seen as an incredible Nigerian success story, began to attract envy and the usual Nigerian bad belly. Some top officers of the Nigerian government were told that Kutman is a gold mine. So they began to work assiduously with some frosters within our industry to appropriate the organization for themselves and their friends. Determined to make us on their private ATM, they twisted and mutilated the law, turned it upside down, and started issuing instructions to Kosan as if Kosan is a government department. We have had to deploy the law like no other organization in the history of Nigeria, to form a bulwark against the people in and out of government whose modus operandi has been to grab everything in Nigeria for themselves, their friends and families, with no thought of the other people of Nigeria, the young people of our nation, our children and grandchildren. To them, we have said, no way, no Way. We have been to practically every court everywhere in the land and held our heads high. Without the decision of those distinguished judges of the courts who remain committed to truth and justice, Kosan, your great pan Nigerian organization that has become the nation's most formidable agent of strength, unity, progress, and growth for the creative industry in Nigeria, will since have been sucked dry and wiped away. I remember being warned to get out of the way or I will be crushed by the power of the state. I have made it clear that I am prepared to lay down my life in the defense of the rights of the creative people of Nigeria. <laughs> It is my firm belief that no great nation on earth has been built by cowards. I am proud of you, members of Kosun, everywhere in Nigeria, our board members, and the management team at Kosun. The support of our members has been powerful. The unity within the board is unrivaled. And every working day, the management team resumes at the ever sparkling and magnificent Kosom House and makes sure that Kosom is working and all the key Kosom processes 
are operating at international standards. I want to assure members of COSM, all of you members of COSM, our international partners, that the period of the locust is almost at an end, and that with the approval of you, the members of COSM, COSM will today fully resume the distribution of royalties. You know, let me repeat that Kosan will today fully resume the distribution of royalties and benefits to our members and affiliates everywhere. God will, before you leave here today, your phones to receive the alerts. <laughs> My fellow members of Kosan, every member of Kosan should be proud that refused to be cowards in our country. Members of Kosan have proved, have proved to all Nigerians that the rampaging economic and political bandits, marauders, and scammers operating in our country can be fought to establish and won without fear. I, I, I would now like to address, uh, please silence, 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 please. I would now like to address the key tasks of this AGM. My dear members of Coson, this starting AGM has five broad tasks. The first is to receive consider, approve, and adopt the audited financial statements of the society for the year ended December 31, 2022, and the reports of the auditors thereon and that of the directors respectively. The second is to consider the position of the auditors and make changes where necessary and to authorize the directors to determine the remuneration remuneration of the auditors. The third is to ratify the resolution of the management met at its meeting of September 12, 2023, that in accordance with Article 57 of the Society's Articles of Association, the number of directors of the Society be increased to 13 in order to expand the board to achieve better representation. The fourth is to ratify the resolution of the management board made at this meeting of September 12, 2023 to approve the agreement reached with the plaintiffs in suit number FIC slash L slash CS slash 1418 slash 2019 not to enforce the judgment in their suit which precludes Coston from distributing any royalties to its members in the form of general distribution while Kosong withdraws its appeal of the judgment in the Court of Appeal. The fifth is to ratify the resolution of the management board made at its meeting of September 12, 2023, that this AGM approves a distribution of the sum of 208 million 500,000 Naira. Let me repeat that this AGM approves a distribution of the sum of 208 million 500,000 Naira, of which the sum of 62 million 664,000 Naira 
will be split equally amongst all members of the society whose names appear on the society's register as of 19th May 2022 as palliative royalty distribution. And the reason is so as to address the present economic situation in the country and that the remaining sum of 145 million 836 thousand naira be distributed to all qualified members as specific distribution. The sixth is to elect or re-elect directors to fill four positions that will be vacant on the board. Transparency and accountability have been the core of the success of our society. I wish to restate emphatically that no other organization in the history of the Nigerian creative industry has been run with the level of honesty, transparency, and accountability with which Koson has been run. Every year, and I repeat, every year since our inception, our AGM has been held with fail. Every year, our annual general meeting has been held without fail. In the most difficult of times, our accounts have been audited in accordance with the law. The report made available to our thousands of members who have had every opportunity to query the report. Today, Mr. J.K.C. Nebeli, principal partner in the firm of J.K.C. Nebeli & Co., our external auditors will present the 2022 auditors report to this annual general meeting for your consideration. At the last AGM, and in accordance with our rules, you were re-elected to the board, two members of the board, whose terms lapsed at the meeting, and who the board had recommended for re-election. The members were Mr. Kofi Idowu Noel, uh, whom we call Kofi Daguru, a great member of Kosom, on the Kosom board, and uh, Chief Tony Okoroji. Subsequently, the board members were elected Chief Tony Okoroji to continue in the position of chairman. But I wish to emphasize, I wish to emphasize that the fact that anyone has been recommended by the board for election does not make the election of such a person automatic. It will be up to you, the members of to choose whoever you wish. The of the Kosom Board has been committed and outstanding. The board meetings and meetings of the committees of the board have been very well attended, and the discussions vigorous and all issues dealt with transparently and professionally. On your behalf, I wish to thank all members of our board, and they are all seated here. <laughs> For their commitment to the progress of Coastal. Um, Kofi, um, my sister, Casey's KSB, Kenny Saint Billion. My brother from another mother, SSC, Sashino, Bishop Sashino Peters. My brother, I call him Onyengozi. We moved it to one trillion, right? <laughs> Chief Uche Emeka Paul. My great brother, the one and only Richard Ayodele Cole. the president of the righteous nation, the one and only righteous man. <laughs> you know? The great Zidon Operella. The 
powerful that Angus one world. Angus power. And um, the president of Mookman. No. Um, Pastor, engineer, Sharon, Esco, Wilson, Joshua. So she's not she's not really upset because she's on because she she's um star of our former board member, the great Ras Kimono. Oge Kimono. Uh, I understand she's online and she's following us. She's also a yep. Okay, if you are listening to me, uh, we thank you very much for your great effort. Sir, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, we can hear you loud and clear. How is it in Europe? Uh, <laughs> good morning, everybody. I salute each good. and every one. Yep. You know, uh, uh, how, how is it going on right there? Oh, it's going on well. We're um, we're counting down to the fashion event. A friend of mine has a, a fashion show. She's from Togo, so we, right. it's it's basically an African uh, um, themed no, event, no. and it is African supporting African, you know, Africans empowering each other. No, no take good. Yeah. Okay, you know that we love you so much, and we pray for you all the time. Thank you, yes. thank you, thank you. And I, I cannot forget when one of our members uh, fell sick in Abuja, uh, the beautiful KSB, I called you and said, rush to the hospital and take care of KSB. And you did that immediately, fully. Um, you're a great, I know that you're, you're a girl, right? But you're a great son of your father and my friend, the wonderful Ras Kimono. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. It is an honor to serve. Bless you, okay. Yes. Um, in keeping with our rules, the board has recommended for re-election four members of our current board, whose tenure, whose tenures expire this meeting. They are Bishop Sashino Peters, a composer, Ms. Kenny St. Brown, a composer, Engineer Sharon Esco Wilson, a publisher, and Chief Uche Emeka Paul, a publisher. There will also be a vacant position on the board if this AGM ratifies the resolution made by the board at its meeting of September 3 that, in accordance with Article 57 of the Memat, the number of directors being used to achieve better. It is my hope that there will continue to be open democracy and every qualified member of Coston should continue to have a right to seek election to any vacant position on the board. This has been made clear at page four of the notice or to this meeting sent to members. The simple procedure for seeking election is also stated and no fee is demanded. Let me restate that there is nothing, absolutely nothing, in the procedure that any Kosan member from seeking election to the board. I want to state again, there is no procedure. If you want to serve on the board, you should be able to go before an AGM and collect a form and fill it and speak to the people and tell them why. You should be elected to the board. But I noticed that uh, a lot of the members are frightened to do this. I'm however informed that application, not even one application at this AGM was received. Am I correct, GM? We must continue to be a great example to the Nigerian nation about how true democracy operates. No one, and I repeat, no one should ever serve on the Kosom board 
without a clear electoral mandate. And no one whose mandate has lapsed should be allowed to serve one day, not even one day extra. Once your mandate has expired, you should please leave us alone. It is my hope that today in our tradition we will have very peaceful and transparent elections to fill the stated vacancies that will arise. Please, please, members of Kuson, join me in thanking the general manager, Mrs. Benis Ereme Ashibogo, and her team for their service to the society under very Let's pray that the good Lord continues to bless the Kusum management and staff and their families. Please, GM, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. As of Kusum, today, on behalf of the board, I thank all of you for your unflinching support of our great society and your staunch refusal to have your chairman or any member of the board plain, defamed, or humiliated as a result to the service of Kosun. Yes, I have to be honest with you. I have been a, of a dangerous coup d'etat. At the dead of night, and executed in the coup, and failed in all. I want to thank you. I have been abducted by five henchmen with a plan to drive me from Lagos to Benin City in the middle of the night and waste me on the way. By the grace of God, the plan failed. I have faced very deviously coordinated and white defamation character and had to file several cases to defend my name and obtain judgment against the perpetrators. I've got judgment against some of them. I'm still in court looking for judgment against the rest of them. My personal bank account and my private business account we are frozen with questionable court orders and for some time I had to virtually beg for food to eat. It took about 18 months for a federal high court in Abuja to order that my personal bank account be unfrozen. We are still battling to unfreeze my private business account. For a long period, together with some senior staff members of the society, I faced ending harassment. The general manager here faced onslaught by policemen from Abuja who we are told to come and take her to Abuja. The general manager here, even with uh, the general manager, had to visit DSS so many times. And in one occasion, the deputy general manager was asked to deposit his passport and that of his wife to DSS because of nothing but his service to Kusum. He took the order of Justice A.R. Mohammed of the Federal High Court in Abuja to call up the security agencies and stop them from meddling with the affairs of Kusun. Fellow members of Kusun, I wish to assure you that despite the continuous harassment and torture that I have been subjected to, I am happy and very proud to have been given the great opportunity to build and lead the Kosan family. <laughs> I very, in the words of Martin Luther King Jr., 
that's the arc, the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. I, I remember the man who drives on a full tank of faith. I promise that I will keep the boundless fire of Hoson burning and promise that our popular mantra, let the music pay, will continue to be heard everywhere. Go son. Go son. Let me hear you. Go son. And thank you very much. Before I introduce our chairman, I assured you that we were going to be like an open book and let you understand all that has been playing at Coson. And you can see from his address that he explained everything in detail. But as it is, it's a community, it's a society, not everybody will sleep and uh, face the same direction. In case there is something you do not understand and uh, one or two things that you need cleared, please, you have the floor, you can ask a question so that we can quickly address it, then we adopt this minutes. So please, is there somebody here who wishes for more clarity on everything the chairman has expressed? If there's anything you're not so clear about. Okay, can I take the mic to that lady at the back? Ladies first, then the gentleman. Kosan. Let the music pay. Yeah, I just want to appreciate our uh, able chairman. My suggestion, or let me say, add up. My name is Follower Shale Rachel. I'm from Ota in Ogu State. Um, I appreciate the work this great house has been doing. But I like the aspect I want to talk about is the border vacancy. I wanted to suggest that would there be a platform, probably a WhatsApp group, um, a group online where there will be mem where membership, where all the members will be intimated, be told time to time the events and the happenings of the organization. And then, like, as our website, I want it to be more visual, probably on things, maybe on the messages we have been sent to. Maybe just give us, um, like, we are just getting the Zoom passcode right now. There are some people that would have been able to take advantage of that if it had been given to us earlier. So that's my contribution. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll take the gentleman. We'll take all the questions then, yes. Okay. Please. No, um, I want to thank the lady from Ota in Ogu State, you know, and um, her suggestions are well, are well received. Uh, but I also want to say that this is the notice to this meeting. It is supposed to be received by every member of Kosan, but I notice that some people don't get it, even though the notice is posted and it has all the important information about the meeting, the vacancies on the board, the way to get onto the board, and uh, we send these notices through the post office, which is what we are required to do by law, and somehow. Some of our members change their addresses, and the, not the notice will get to the address we have on record, and they don't get the notice. 
um, with respect to the the code for the Zoom meetings, the code was not just issued here. It is in the notice, you know, which is sent at least three weeks before the meeting. The, the Zoom code and the, was also sent out by WhatsApp. Uh, DJ, am I correct? You, you, you got the SMS, yeah? Uh, so uh, it's not as if we are not trying to reach everybody. It was sent out by SMS. It was sent up by WhatsApp. You know, so please endeavour. But your your request, you know, that we try more to make sure that every member is with their society is very well taken, and it can never be perfect. We'll continue to do more and more and more because we serve you. We don't serve ourselves. Thank you very much. Kosam. Let the music pay. Kosam. Let the music pay. My name is uh, Comrade Sanusi Ahamadu, a.k.a. Shana Show. Uh, so far, uh, the 13 AGM, from what uh, our chairman, uh, who I'm very proud of, who is my leader, my mentor, because why I always want to be here is to observe him and learn from his leadership quality. Please put chance together for our chairman. We know what he has gone through, but he still remains rugged, he still remains solid. He fought all the battle and today. Okay, what I just want to say is this. Uh, uh, the board, the board, I'm saying, what I, my suggestion is to just let, they are doing a good job let them remain, let them remain elected, let them remain dear because what they have been doing is a great job. Thank you very much. But please, I want to say something as regards the suggestion of that uh, lady earlier that perhaps we should have a general WhatsApp group. Let me explain to you. Eh? There is, there is a general one. Okay, are they aware? Okay, so let me, let me, let me, let me, the, okay, you want the number, a code, but please, um, but please, um, there is a limited capacity, I think, um, hold on, hold on guys, what we will do, I will uh, encourage management to also open a telegram channel, which can then uh, take um, a lot more people. But please, please, this is what I have observed over time with such groups. Facebook groups, WhatsApp, um, Telegram groups. and uh, You Nigerians bring problems outside that group into that group. It doesn't encourage us to want to be in groups anymore. If you check on my phone, I have archived a lot of groups. I don't see what is happening there anymore. If they do eventually bring you into that group, do not bring personal problems or start to discuss things that don't concern us or start to fight other human beings of collective interest. And there are some groups that we should not belong to. They've added me to a group before. Out of respect, I agreed to join. It was an older man. And me, I like I liked associating with with wise people, older people, I learned from them. So I agreed. I did not know that the group is a transitional group. <laughs> that is, the first week I joined, the first week I joined, they shared two obituary. <laughs> so, so, I, I just, I said, okay, maybe, maybe it was a coincidence. So, the following week, they shared one. I said, thank God, it is reducing. By the fourth week, they just gave us double, bo, 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 like four. Ah, I had to check the group again. Ah, what is going on? So I muted myself. I avoided the group for like three weeks. I didn't open it. Immediately, I opened it after three weeks. As I just entered, just a po, 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 ah, ah. So, I felt the appropriate thing to do 
I felt the appropriate thing to do was just je, 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 exit from the group. As I was planning it, group admin now private chatted me. The next message I saw is Kofi, if you are planning, <laughs> if you are planning to exit the group, just know that we will be sharing your obituary in the group. <laughs> now that time I can't understand. So I'll be a full member, quiet, silent member, observing all protocols and behaving myself. If they add you, please learn to behave yourself. Just stay there quietly. And uh -huh. so now this is what we're going to do to help everybody. Your meal ticket, the clearance paper you got, you write your number behind it. Okay? Your WhatsApp number. If you don't you don't have a WhatsApp number, let us borrow somebody's WhatsApp number. Use it, but let them let you know whenever we update. So you go to their house. So back to those days when only one phone did the whole area, where everybody, they go receive call for that house. It's not a shame not to have a WhatsApp, but one must keep being updated and, you know, informed about things happening. So Look for a WhatsApp number, maybe your cousin, your nephew, your, whoever, your relative that you can use. Call them at Sari Yami WhatsApp number. message So we'll put it up there. Thank you very much. So the gentleman there, please. That gentleman, that one. No, the mic is coming to you. Uh, good morning. Kosan? Let the music play. My question is this. Um, the other time the, chair, the chairman said um, during the the COVID, that some things palliative was shared. Uh, most of the time, all I see is messages, SMS of meetings. So my question is, are there special people or specified people that these go to? And uh, I just want to be clear. No. Um, with the COVID palliative, there was absolutely no discrimination. If you didn't get it, it would simply mean that you were not a member, or your account details were not known, or the details failed, because sometimes, yeah, we send the money to some people and it is returned, because they, you know, uh, if there is none of this, and you think that money due to you did not get to you, please go back to management. Because if you have an entitlement at Kosan, nobody takes it. No matter how long it takes. I think it's about seven years before then it is considered that the person doesn't exist anymore or the person has japad or gone somewhere, right? Uh, so please. If you didn't get the money and you believe you are entitled to the money, go to management, give them your details, and explain yourself. And that uh, will be, you know. Uh, 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 before we go on, let me say that I have a, a lot of friends here. I will ordinarily have to recognize, but everybody's a big man here. Uh, Mike uh, Odion, um, you want to run away? No, you can't run away. Mike is the general manager of Premier Records Limited and Premier Music Limited. Probably one of the biggest recording companies in Nigeria. Look at his face well, well, you might need him. Uh, he wants to run away, but uh, Mike will not be allowed to run away. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, Chief. The next Monday. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is uh, Adam Sabayomi, and it's a great privilege to be here this afternoon. And I am glad to hear. Yeah, I am glad to be here this afternoon. Uh, first and foremost, uh, I want to speak about um, awareness of Coson. Because I can overhear the, press, uh, the chairman talking about having 5,200 members, which I believe we still have 
to have more members. And how do we go about that? Me standing here, I'm the president of Oboshoki Art Forum. Any, anything that deals with entertainment, it always passes through my table. And for me to be part of this member, I believe from now on, I have to pass this message to every musical artist in my community. And I believe with that, he's going to elaborate on the members of Kosom. Also, I want to speak on, on members of Kosom. I think whenever we are having our events, we can always have, we can always invite any representative to come and speak on behalf of this, uh, 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 this association. It will also give more publicity because a lot of musical artists are looking forward to this kind of opportunity, but the information is not reaching out to them, which I believe we members can help in spreading the name of this co song. Also, I want to throw this to the co song uh, uh, representative. What are you doing to help the talented musical artists? Are, you, are, are we just here to collect the royalties without not being known or without not being connected to some right sources that can help our talent? So I want the chairman to look up to that as well. How can musical artists can start from the scratch and get to the top? And Kosong will be proud of us in the future. God bless you all. All right. Um, thank you very much, my brother. I like all your points. Um, let's be on record that from the day this place was built is one open house that other entertainers can come and use for anything they want to do. But most people don't take advantage of that. I have used this place like... Recording in progress. Stop recording me. I have... <laughs> now, when you both won't catch you, FBI, and I did do this thing. So please, let your people know. The last thing you were saying, the sharing took it away. What was the last thing you said? That you needed more clarity about something. Okay, okay. Um, this is not the function of Kosong. Okay, Kosong is to get your money from wherever they have used your works. Promotion is your work and every other platform that you can go to. But here, the advantage you have, like I just told you, if you people want to do something, you can reach out to management, something that has sense, not the one that you cause quarry. You can come and use this place. It's a corporate establishment for anybody to use. So that's one advantage. If we cannot promote your music, we can promote your brand by using this place, this hall, to do anything you want to do sensibly. All right? Okay. Um, permit me us to go online. Ain't it banatic bow? Can you go be a little bit of my luleco? Be it to cuckoo. Be it to cuckoo. Not uh, we go to the 22 audit report. Um, I did a very long address to this house, and uh, it is our usual process that the member adopts or refuse to adopt the address. You know, I'd say that uh, it's our usual procedure that we adopt the address of the chairman. Um, I want to suggest that if there is anybody here um, I will excuse the board members, outside the board members, who would want to move a motion for the adoption you know, of, the, of the report. Um, um, the, okay, um, you know, there's a gentleman there. What's your name? Evangelist Femi from Ekiti State. And, and uh, there is uh, John White. Okay, you are moving. John White is seconding, right? No, no, I, I, no, I'm sitting here, so I saw him. You know, you know. Okay, uh, Femi is moving. John White is seconding. Is there anybody opposed to the, to the adoption? 
you know. So would I consider that uh, the this thing has been uh, adopted? I said, okay. Please clap for yourself. Sophie. Okay. Um, an another very important uh, issue on the agenda will be to receive, consider, approve, and uh, adopt the audited financial statements of uh, the society from the year ended December 31, 2022. And um, our third external auditor appointed by this house is present here today, uh, Mr. J.K.C. Edebeli. Um, Mr. Enebeli, if you would, don't mind, uh, can you please present the report of the auditors uh, for the financial year ending December 31, 20, 31st, 2022? Mr. Enebeli. This is the report of the auditors to members of, of Cobra Society of Nigeria Limited by Guarantee. We have examined the financial statements of Copyright Society of Nigeria, Limited Bank Guarantee, for the year ended at 1st December 20, 1992, which have been prepared under the Historical Cost Convention and on the basis of the accounting policies chosen by the company. In accordance with Section 334, of the company's analysis of the matters act 1990, the company's directors are responsible for the preparation of the financial statements. It is our responsibility to form an independent opinion on the statements based on our audit and to express our opinion to you. We conducted our audit in accordance with our country's standards on auditing issued by the International Federation of Accountants. An audit includes examination, of, of, includes examination on a stage basis of evidence relevant to the amount and disclosure in the financial statements. It also is an assessment of specific uh, significant uh, estimates and judgments made by the directors in preparation and presentation of the financial statements and of whether the accounting policies are appropriate to the company's circumstances, consistently applied and disclosed. We have planned and performed our audits so as to obtain all the information and explanations that we considered necessary for the purpose of our audit, and to pro provide us with sufficient evidence to give a reasonable assurance, yeah, assurance of the financial statements are free from uh, the statements, whether caused by errors and or irregular, uh, other irregularities, informing our opinion we have evaluated the overall adequacy of the presentation of financial information in the financial statements. The financial statements are in agreement with the books of accounts, which have been properly kept. Opinion. In our opinion, the company has kept proper books of accounts. The assets have been properly valued and adequate provisions made for the losses and diminution in value of such assets. The financial statements which have been drawn up in conformity with the international reporting standards give a true and fair view of the state of affairs of the company as of December 2022 and of the profit and cash flow for the period, for the year ended on that date, and have properly prepared in accordance 
with the Companies and Allied Matters Act 20, Law Federation of Nigeria, 2004, signed JKC Nebel and Co. Lagos. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. JKC Enebeli. Uh, let me also explain that um, outside the external auditor, we have a finance committee, which is uh, headed by our lady here, our no-nonsense lady, um, Kenison Brown. And uh, the, finance, the finance committee, you know, works with the auditor, and um, if you've not been in a session, you will pray, pray to God never have to have to be, because every question is raised, and every question has to be answered before our audit report comes out. Uh, you've listened to the auditor. I wish that everybody got a copy of the report, because the auditor report is also in the notice of the meeting so that everybody can go through it and if you have any issues to raise the issues here so we can, be, we can deal with it. I don't know if anybody has any issues with respect to the audit report. If there are no issues, can somebody please move that the auditor's report be adopted? You know? Somebody move. Okay. Hey, there's so many hands up. You know, you know, you raise your hand first. What's your name? So they can put it on record. Yes, my name is uh, Ras Innovator. R you know, <laughs> Ras Innovator. Yeah, Ras Innovator. Support United Nations on Peace, Disease, Hunger, etc. Okay. Yes, I move that the uh, audit report. Audit report. Be adopted. Be adopted. You know, is there anybody supporting? Ah, there are so many. Okay, somebody from Oyo State. Eh? Supported by Evangelist Olawu Mifani, aka Omolugwara. Okay, good. Good. Um, is there anybody against? No. Okay, I will consider that unanimously it is agreed that the audit report be adopted. Am I correct? Yes. Okay, fine. Um, Mr. Nebeli, you may please go. Thank you very much for your work. I want to thank Bishop Sir Shino Peters for his service to Koson. <laughs> Miss Kenny St. Brown, I thank you for your service to Coson. Engineer Sharon Esco Wilson, I thank you for your service. And Chief Uche Emeka Paul, I thank you for your service to Coson. But your term on the board out right now. So please may step down. You have to find some place. Find some place to sit. <laughs> You're not going away. <laughs> you, you know, you go to the floor. <laughs> that's that's the process. You go to the floor. Right now, you are a floor member. No, no, no. Don't go away, please. Don't go away. No, no. No, 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 no. They are part of the meeting. Uh, right now, we want to practice democracy the way it is done. Okay, but first of all, he has to go to the floor. Find a place and sit down. Good. Find a place and go, go and sit next to the, to the lawyer. There's an empty seat there. Yeah, go and sit, we'll sit down. Yeah, part, it's part of the meeting. Yeah. We have four vacancies on the board. Our rule is that if you have served your term, 
he must step down. You know, those of you who have been attending our meetings, when my time is up, I step down. We don't, we don't joke about it. It is democracy, you know. Uh, but all these four have been, you have been requested to re-elect each and every one of them by the board. That again is by our rules. I'm going to call them one by one. And then, oh, somebody says, do it at the same time. Okay? If the members of Coastal want these four uh, persons, our members, to be re-elected, raise your hand. Okay, if, the, if there is anyone here who does not want them re-elected, please raise your hand. You know? Would, I, would it be right to say that you have unanimously re-elected Sashino Peters, Kenny Sam Brown, Engineer Sharon Resco Wilson, Uche Emeka Paul, to the board. Yeah. No, thank, uh, uh, Please, as new members of the board, you must swear, you know, because you are fresh. You are, you are the newest members of the board. And I'll ask a question. Do you promise to serve this society to the best of your ability and respect the constitution and rules? So help you God? <laughs> you know? No, 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 no. So I do, so help me God. I do, so help me God. And I do, so help me God. I do, so help me God. There, there is... Uh, as part of our agenda for this meeting, there is a request from the board that in accordance with Article 57 of the Society's Articles of Association, the number of directors of the Society be increased to 13 in order to expand the board to achieve better representation. That is what your board has requested that more people be brought to the board to achieve better representation. Uh, we cannot implement this now, but if you move it, it means that we have options to bring more people at the next AGM, you know? Um, if somebody can move that, you know, um, please, my brother, if, if you want to move. Can you, what, what's your name? My name is... Chief Ojatun Ashe Oluwajoba, known as Apus Penas. Okay. I hereby move that, that uh, more members should be added to the board yes. for better representation. Okay, thank you very much. Um, anybody supporting the... Olorun Femi Tayo Kabiosi Queen, I support. Okay. Is anybody opposed? Nobody's... Okay. In, in that case, will it be right to say that this motion has been adopted by this AGM. Okay? Um, I believe that this is an important motion. We have a motion to ratify the resolution of the management board made at its meeting of September 12, 2023 
to approve the agreement reached with the plaintiffs in suit number FACL CS 1418-2019, not to enforce the judgment of their suit, which precludes Coson from distributing any royalties to its members in the form of general distribution, while Coson withdraws the, its appeal of the judgment in appeal number CALAGPRE ROACV 732M2021. This is a very important motion, right? Uh, let me again explain it. I've said that some members of our society went to court asking the court to stop general distribution, which is part of the reason why there has been no general distribution for a while, because we obey court orders, right? But we have engaged with these uh, members of the society and because we are the judgment, we thought the judgment was unfair. They got a judgment, but we said it's unfair. And we went to the court of appeal. But we all got together and said nobody is benefiting anything from this situation. Because our deserve penalties. Right? And we got together. And what, some of their complaints are that uh, there is too much general distribution. You know, in some societies, of course, you do mainly specific distribution, which means only those whose music is selling will get any money. But that's unfair. That's our belief. That's the belief of the board, that we should be a brother's keeper. You know, even in Nigeria, you see, where is, where do we obtain oil? In the Delta. But people in Sokoto, in uh, Bono, in Zamfara, share from the benefits of the oil we get from the Delta. If we say, leave all of them, let's share the money only amongst, there will be trouble. You won't even enjoy the money because they will be all over you. And that's the principle we have adopted at Kusan that we are all a family. And no matter how small, each of our members should be getting some money. So we reach an agreement. But that agreement pegs the amount of money we put on general distribution. If you look at the figures we are giving to you, 30% of the money we are distributing is general distribution. 70% is specific distribution. We will try and reduce it. But part of the reason we are distributing how much? 208 million. I believe we should be distributing over a billion right now. More than that, we are going that up. Is all the troubles we have been put under. The stress we have been put under. There are even people telling users of works not to pay good There are a lot of people, a lot of campaign, even campaign within the government agency whose job is to protect us, make sure that our works are not used freely. Now there are the people telling people not to pay us, to go ahead and use our work free of charge. You know? You know? Um, I think that is wrong. So, we have reached this agreement with these people that they will not implement the judgment of God from court and we will withdraw the appeal we have filed against them. You know? And um, the board believes that the members should be given an opportunity to ratify that decision because without it, we cannot go ahead with distribution. You understand the implications? We cannot do the distribution we said we are going to do today. So, um, if there is anybody, please, who wants to move that motion to, for the AGM to ratify that decision, please raise your hand. You, you, you did not understand it. I will go, I will go again because it's important that you understand. I said some of our members went to court. They said that Coson should not do general distribution anymore. In other words, the royalties that most of you get is general distribution. 
we should stop it. We should only do distribution in which only the people who are blowing will get money. Do you support that? You see the problem? But, but they got a judgment and you must respect the judgment. You must respect the judgment of a court. And we appeal. But we all met and said, this thing is not good for us. We cannot go on forever not giving our members money. Let's resolve it. And part of the resolution is that we will not go above 30% in general distribution, which is what we are trying to implement. Do you understand? So I'm saying that if you support what the board has decided, move the motion so that we can ratify this and do general distribution today. Uh, somebody has been moving his... Uh, Course on. Please, uh, the board, the management met on September 12th and agreed that uh, there will be a general distribution because we have gone to court of appeal waiting for the judgment. And as a matter of fact, this is our money and not their money. And the board is working for the betterment of all of us. Just like you rightly said, not just the, other, uh, the people producing the oil, but all of us are enjoying the oil. On that note, my name is Sir Edwin Mary Apeze, G and G Music International. I move the motion that general distribution must, must be made this year, 2023. As we are going as we are going home now, we are waiting for the other. Thank you and God bless you. My name is Folo Shale Rocha. I second the motion that we move that the general distribution should be done today, should be continued 2023. The motion I asked to be moved is not the distribution. The motion is the agreement to ratify that agreement because one leads to the other, right? So I need somebody to move the motion to ratify the agreement we have reached with the plaintiffs in that action. Okay, my name is Captain Carpenter. My actual name is Adebayo Daramola. I'm a reggae artist. So I move the motion for the ratification of the agreement. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. A any, any supporter? Supported. My name is uh, Lady Evangelist Foluke Affair, aka I can't worship idol in my life. So I support the motion, sir. Okay. Is there anybody opposed? If there's nobody opposed, will it be right to say that this meeting fully endorses that we ratify the agreement? Thank you. Please clap for yourself. It's going very, very well. <laughs> to ratify the resolution of the management board made at its meeting of September 12, 2023, that the AGM approves a distribution of the sum of 208,500,000 naira of which the sum of 62,664,000 naira will be split equally among all members of the society whose names appear on the society's register as at 19 May 2022 as palliative royalty distribution so as to ameliorate the present economic situation in the country. And the remaining sum of 145 million eight hundred and thirty six thousand naira be distributed to all qualified members as specific distribution um, do you understand you know uh, more explanation okay the board your board has recommended that a total sum of two hundred and 
eight million five hundred thousand be distributed if you agree. And it says that of this amount, sixty two million six hundred and sixty four thousand be distributed equally amongst the members on the register as of nineteenth of may twenty twenty two. You don't join Koson today and expect to end distribution. You spend at least one year. Right, that's, that's what we do. Right? And this distribution, equally amongst the members, is what we call palliative royalty distribution. If you want to call it a general distribution, that's okay. You know? So as to ameliorate the present economic situation. And then, the remaining 140, if you add these two, you will get to that 208. 145,836,600 naira be distributed as specific distribution. In other words, to distribute this money, you must get logs of the music played and use the log to distribute the money to the people whose music have been played. Do you understand this? You know? And um, if you look at those two figures, the palliative distribution is 30% of the entire funds, and the specific distribution is 70% of the entire funds, which is in keeping with the agreement we have reached. Does everybody understand this? Any issues? You, you, you have one. You have an issue. Please ask. You know. Praise the Lord. The cold song. Let the music play. What I want to say, I have a question. Yeah. And that question is this: We are having. I'm not opposing the distribution. Yeah. In future, can it be amended? Um, it is. It's up to. The only thing that cannot be amended is debt. Right. No problem. Good. You know, you know, but my prayer for everyone here is that you create music that will blow so that you earn money from specific distribution. That's where the heavy money is. Please make efforts and make sure that your music blows. You know, um, are we together? Go, son. Go, son. So having explained this, will someone please move, you know, move the motion as specified? Eh? Okay, you want to? Okay, fine. Yes, okay. Go, son. L let me say this is the right time to say what I've just said before. The 208 million 500 naira we have approved. Uh, the six, uh, sixty, the sixty-two. I think uh, I got you right when you said sixty-two million six hundred and sixty-four thousand naira. Equally, uh, we have approved. And for those who have the music who have been selling, we have approved the one hundred and uh, forty-five million naira for specific uh, distributions. On that note, I want to say. Please, sir, we do respect. You know you have been doing well for us. But on this note, we don't need to waste our, our time much. What we are waiting for now is a lot. We will move that uh, this matter be resolved once and for all. Thank you and God bless. It's my pleasure. My name is Ahmed Okeze Musa. Ahmed O. So I'm supporting what uh, the first person, the man that just left now, said. Okay. So let's do it that way. Is anybody opposed? No opposition? No one lose money. No. Would I then be right to, to, that this motion is wholly carried by this meeting? If you say carried, say yeah. yeah. If you say carried, say yeah. yeah. Go son. Yeah. Go son. Yeah. Good, good, good. We are in any other business, and someone has 
indicated to me that he has a major motion to move. And I consider the direction of the motion to be important. And it will not be proper for that motion to be moved. And you have left. And then you hear that. I say, where did it happen? I attended the meeting. You know, that's why I recalled everybody. May I please invite Chief Uche Mekapol, because some member from Abuja, he has an important motion to move. Hey. Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen, my beloved members of the Koson family. I want to move this motion because we have been in pain, we have been troubled, we have been taken up and down by NCC, and somebody is at the helm of affair in that engineering, the pains we are going through. So I have this important motion to move. Please help me, just give me some of your time because I have to put it down so that it will be in details. Am I permitted to go on? Okay. I, Chief Uche Emeka Paul, a Koson member from Abuja, hereby move that this 2023 Koson Annual General Meeting resolves today, 7th November 2023, that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu be requested to immediately remove from office Mr. John Ohi Asen, whose leadership of the Nigerian Copyright Commission has been disastrous and has led the commission to continuously go backwards and instead of defending the rights of intellectual property in Nigeria, has exposed such owners to losses of billions in income. I want to state with clarity that many thousands of copyright owners in Nigeria have completely lost faith in John Asen's leadership of the NCC, and we are certain that the Nigerian Copyright Commission cannot make any progress under this man. Let it be said loudly that President Bola Tinubu stated determination to boost Nigerians' creative economy to provide jobs for the teeming masses of young Nigerians will be a pipe dream with a man like John Asen left in the critical position that he holds. A proper investigation will show that in the last five years, several indicting petitions with unassailable facts have been sent to the government about essence, rapid infraction of public service rules, and extended the staff of commission, which have negatively affected the growth of Nigeria's creative sector. Under the immediate past government, Mr. Asen was shielded by the powers that be to the extent that he began to feel that he is untouchable. Since the arrival of the Tinubu government, Asen has assumed, has, has assumed a low profile, hiding under the radar and praying that he will escape the gale of sacks that have visited director generals of government agencies. If the government is serious about a period of renewed hope for Nigerians, John Asen Oh, he has, John Ohiasen should go. Indeed, he should have been one of the first to go. Among his many infractions, there is abundant and incontrovertible evidence that John Asen, for several months, fraudulently collected salaries from the federal government when he was not staff of the federal government. The details are within the possession of the Code of Conduct Bureau and the ICPC. Asen and his henchmen have tried to cover up this scandal and sweep it under the carpet, but the scandal will not go away. There is also abundant and incontrovertible evidence that long after being appointed DG of the NCC, John Asen continued to act on behalf of Repronic, a management organization licensed and regulated by the NCC and acted as the sole signatory to the bank accounts of Reproni, signing Reproni funds in dollars to himself. 
This is another bewilding scandal and a terrible example of conflict of interest and fraud, which I say and think he has successfully covered up with the help of his friends in government. Without shame, John Hassan has continued to collect handouts from an organization that is said to be regulating without any thought of the ethics of his morality of a referee collecting money from one of the teams in a match in which is the umpire. It is open secret that Essen collected a boss and props from this organization. The consequence that Mr. Essen is shamelessly doing the bidding of the said organization as a payback for what he has collected. For several years, John Essen has continued hunting to hunt, has taunted Coson for exposing the scandals associated with him. He has created a situation in which the intellectual property of thousands of Coson members and affiliates across the world are being exploited within, without any payment, resulting in huge losses and imminent starvation, staring these cre cre creative Nigerians in the face. Mr. Hassan's determination in collaboration with scammers in the music industry to kill Koson, Nigeria's biggest and best managed copyright collective management organization, a Nigerian institution, hitherto a source of pride to the country, respected across the globe, cannot be allowed to continue. His manipulation of the system to deny the well over 5,000 members of Koson our rights and the process of our labor as enshrined in the Nigerian constitution must stop. His many gimmicks to impoverish and deny legitimate income to the members of Koson, our many staff, their families and dependents at a time of severe economic hardship while he is feeding fat on government money is wickedness of the worst kind. Without equivocation, I call on this AGM to request that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu immediately sacks Mr. John Hassan, whose leadership of the Nigerian Copyright Commission has, infested, has been infested uh, with uh, terrible evil. I, Uche Mekapo, so move. Did you hear him? Did you hear him? You heard him well? Those in support of the motion, please say aye. aye. Those against the motion, say nay. Okay? It is clear that the eyes have it. So the motion is moved and resolved and adopted. So help us, God. Thank you so much. So please, uh, uh, Lady J. Bring your guitar, come here and perform, and let's have a good time while we wait for the alerts. You are my. I do make room for two. You are my Jesus. You are my. You are my. Oh, well, oh, you are the man of me. Away, away, away. You are the man. What would have been told of me if I didn't see your life? What would have been said of me if you said I would go? Now I come to realize that you you are all the mass to me. You are all the man. I put you in front. In front of my body. You are all the man. You are all the man. And I'm not going to you. You are not Jesus. You are the man. You are the man. The Lord He gave them to you all. 
You see the man and see the face. I am nobody without you, Lord. What have you told of me? If I didn't see your head. What have you said of me? If you turn the Holy Ghost. Now come to the alive. That you are the way I You are the man to me. When you live by you, you are the man. Louder, 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 let's go. I see one more for fun. It's going to jam me out. Everybody, let's go. Param pam pam param pam 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 achiki param pam achiki param pam achiki param pam DJ DJ loda loda param pam achiki param pam param param they said them no like my flow JJ they said them no feel my flow JJ my people they feel my flow JJ so my baby let's stop the eight JJ they said them no like my flow JJ they said them no feel my flow JJ my people they feel my flow JJ so look for for stop the eight JJ Brother, you know this life is too too short to you. Brother, you know this life is short like me, God. I see woman for fun now. The bottom pump, 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 p